In today's video, we are managing Chelsea for 10 seasons to see how many trophies we can win. And one thing we are going to have to address in this challenge, guys, over the 10 seasons to bring the average age of the squad down. Because as you guys can see, a few players over the age of 30 and quite a few players reaching the age of 30. And to help us do that in season one, we've got 100 million in the transfer budget and just under 600k in the wages. So let's not waste any more time and let's take a look at the team and see what we're working with here in season one and see where we want to improve this. So in terms of the attacking threat, if anything, I might go out and sign a winger because Timo Werner, I can't really rely on him scoring us 20 plus goals maybe 15 plus goals a season so maybe he might be an option off the bench and he can rotate with Havertz so a left winger coming in midfield wise I think can do us for another season but then maybe look to recruit there the back line if anything a centre back is needed is needed in this first window as for the quitter if I do sell him I'll look to bring in another centre back there as well and talking of a rotation striker we do have Armando Broja out on loan at Southampton at the moment so I think I'll keep him out on loan and see when he comes back next season Try and develop him and maybe try and get him into the first team in these 10 seasons. And then the first player then that I want to go ahead and bring into the squad. Because again, that centre-back position has to be filled in this first season. Delict, going to try and bring him in. Going to cost us almost our whole transfer budget. And so I've got him with an offer here. 82 million plus Ross Barkley. Going to try and get him out the door in this. Okay, they want Mason Mount. They're not having Mason Mount. But they want 104 million. We should be able to come to agreement around about that price. Because again, again Delict, I know he's going to cost that much. 100 mil. We can afford it. If anything, I might just go with 95 and see if they'll agree a deal with that because we need to save some money left over. 95 million, we get a deal. And now we go to our newest signing into the team deal. It comes in for 95 million. Let's get working out on selling some players so we can bring in our next signing. We have been on a little bit of a selling spree right now. Ziyech, Kennedy, Alonso and Barkley going out the door. We've now got 91 million to work with. And now I did say to you guys what is someone on the left-hand side better than Timo Werner, someone we can rely on to get goals every season. Raheem Sterling, obviously linked with Chelsea in real life. Don't know if it's going to happen, but it's going to happen in this video. Wow, okay. And so Pep Guardiola right now isn't messing around. 113 million he wants for Raheem Sterling. I'm going to try and get him for 105. Again, still an insane amount of money. Going to cost us almost, well, pretty much all of our transfer budget. Still got wages left for 105 million. He agrees to that. And so here is then how the team is looking. Going into season one. Let's get into it right now and see what we win in this first season. And there we go then, guys. We're off to a good start already. Winning the Premier League in our first season. And okay, then in the FA Cup, we don't manage to make the final. Carabao Cup, did we win? Okay, didn't manage to make the final of that at all. Super Cup, we had this. Wow. Wow, seriously. Well, come on then. Champions League, did we win this? We did. There we go. Our second trophy. So two trophies won. A Premier League and the Champions League in Season 1 is the best way to start. And just out of interest then, in the Europa League, Milan beat Inter Milan 3-0 in the final. Conference League, that goes to Feyenoord. And before we finish off the season, let's find out our top score rate. And it goes to Timo Werner. Okay, Timo Werner. You know what? I take it back what I said. I said this season he wouldn't score that many goals. Let's bring someone in. And he scored 32 goals. He's played every single game. Um, so my sister, that goes to Jorginho. And here we are then at the start of Season 2. To be honest, guys, the team kind of outperformed how I expected it to do in Season 1. So I think, if anything, let's keep most of the squad and just go out and replace Thiago Silva. And to replace him, we've got 270 million to spend, 500k in the wages, so we can sign anyone. And now the player I want to bring in probably won't cost us 200 million, but Jules Kunde is a really good option. 23, he's currently at PSG. Let's get it bought. And because we've got so much money to work with, it's going to go straight in here. 85 million, just offer that to PSG. Get him into the team. Day one, pretty much, of the new season. And we're good to go. 85, again, they want Mount. Every team wants Mason Mount at the moment. Remove that. Okay, so they want over 100 mil. 105. Should be able to get a job done here. Let's see what Pochettino says to that offer. And he agrees. It's good to see as well this season. Players like Conor Gallagher coming back from his own at Crystal Palace. He's going to play a part this season. Loftus Cheek going to try and offload him. However, Armando Broja, if anything, 78 rated. Going to try and loan him out again. And here is then how we're going to go into season two right now. Kunde is going to come in, play right centre back. We sold Loftus Cheek, also Broja going out on loan. Let's get into it. And okay, then here we go. First game of the season Arsenal in the Community Shield. Let's sim this. Do we get a win? Arsenal beat us. Arsenal beat us on penalties. Our third trophy up for grabs, and Arsenal get the win. But not to worry, then, guys. We still have another chance of winning a trophy before we start simming the full season. You wait for Super Cup against Milan, and there you go. A 3 2 win. Our third trophy secured. Okay, there we go then. Back-to-back -back Premier League titles. This time finishing on 88 points, 9 points ahead of Arsenal. Okay, then in the FA Cup, we didn't manage to make the final of that once again. Carabao Cup, did we make the final of this? No, West Ham. But okay, then what we've all been waiting for. Back-to-back -back Premier Leagues. Can we get back-to-back -back Champions League? Here's the question. No. Okay, PSG, Bayern. PSG get a win. And Juventus go ahead, pick up the Europa League, Conference League that goes to Atletico Bilbao. So not a bad season all round and two trophies for us once again. Takes our total to four now. Top scorer, Sterling, 30 goals, guys. Got up to 90 rated now. Mount on 24, Timo Werner on 24. Top assister, 
Chilwell Sterling level with him. Here we go then, heading into season three. And I think, you know what, guys? This season, again, another centre-back is needed. As for the question, now 80 rated. Our other centre-backs are Chalaber. Chalaber may be into the first team, but he's now 23. I think we can do a little bit better than that. And once again, then, a ridiculous amount of money. 300 mil to spend. Let's see who we're going to get. And you know what we don't have in the team at the moment, guys? Is a left-footed centre-back. Bastoni bringing him in. Why not, guys? I mean, we've got the money to do it. Let's get him into the team. And you might have seen then, he's got 12 months left on his deal right now. So we should be able to get him in for around about 60 million. So we're going to go straight in. 60 million. Should get the job done. We can get Sim in another season straight away. So 60 mil. There you go. Agrees. Unless, of course, then get our new signing into the team right now. It's for the Quetta. Will make the bench, of course. Not going to put him in the reserves and for Bastoni comes straight in. I'm going to put Bastoni on the left. Delict in the centre. Kunde. You know what? I'm happy with the side. Let's go again. Okay, so our luck has run out then in the Premier League. City, Liverpool on 85. We finished on 84. But this season, and we was in the Community Shield. Let's have a look at this. Did we win? We did. On penalties, 5-4, beating Liverpool. Okay, then Nottingham Forest winning the FA Cup. Another season, we haven't won one of these English trophies. Liverpool winning the Carabao Cup. What's that about? In the Super Cup this season, PSG do go ahead and win 2-1 Champions League. And there you go. 3-2. Another trophy added to the cabinet. And Manchester United go ahead and win the Europa League Conference League. That goes to St. Etienne. And right now, then we are averaging two trophies a season. So by the end of the video, we would reach 20 trophies. But ideally, I want to hit more than that. Top scorer, Werner. 45 goals. 45 goals. Still number 24. Mount with 19. Top assister. Ben Chilwell and Mount, level 14. And here we go then, season four right now. As you can see straight away, Rhys James is no longer at the club. Someone must have paid his release clause. I think when I gave him a new contract, had a release clause in there. So, a replacement for him this season. But I also think the midfield, we are going to have to address that at some point. Because Jorginho right now, 32. Kante, 33. Kovacic, I think in this, yeah, age 30 now. So, I have to adjust that at some point. Bro just come back from his loan. 83 rated. Let's find out then where Reece James has made the move to. Because, of course, I did not notice that he left the club until we started United. 92 rated Reece James. Who do we replace him with? And this season, we do have 470 million to spend. And, of course, we've got to replace Reece James with someone with quality right now. Because we want to carry on winning trophies. Can't sign someone 80 rated. So, going in right now, making a deal with Man City for Pedro Porro. 86 rated. So, I'm going to go straight in right now. 80, 85 million. I can imagine City won over 100 million for him. 24, 86 rated. Here we go, 85. Do you want Delict? They're not having Delict. So they want a lot of money for him. Put it that way. So let's go 115. Let's see what Pep Guardiola has to say to that offer. 115. And he agrees. And we do have them. 350 million left in the transfer budget. But looking at the side right now, where do I honestly spend it? Because if anything, I want to give Kante and Jorginho another go in midfield. They might go down in overall, but only by two before the end of the season. The next season, we'll get another 300 mil and I can spend it there. And before we start the new season as well, I'm going to go ahead right now, change all the development plans, get these players growing even faster. And now our next trophy up for grabs then, taking on United in the Super Cup. Can we get the win? 3-0. 3-0 win against United. Reese James misses out on a trophy. And there we go then, back to winning ways in the Premier League. Another trophy picked up. Surely this season, we must have won an FA Cup or a Carabao Cup. Surely somewhere along the way, Man City win at the FA Cup. Carabao Cup, do win this? Yes, we did. A 3-1 win against United. We beat them twice this season in two finals. And now for the Champions League then. Did we win? We didn't even make the final. We didn't even make the final. Round of 16, Porto knocked us out. And in the Europa League then, Villarreal get a 2-1 win against Bayern Munich. In the Conference League, Milan get a 2-1 win as well. And of course then, before we finish off the season, top scorer, Timo Werner, 33 goals. Jorginho picking up an injury. Okay, gone down to 88 rating now, but still in 23. Not bad. Mount, 20 as well. Top assister, Mount with 16, Sterling with 14. And here is then how the team is looking going into season 5 right now. Raheem Sterling, 93 rated. Porro gun to an 88 in his first season. Not bad. Mendy, by the way. He is joining Arsenal when the window opens. I don't know what's happened there. So we're losing a goalkeeper. So this season, we're signing a midfielder at least and a goalkeeper. And to sign both of them players, we've got 500 mil in the transfer budget. So that's no problem. You know what, then, guys? I actually fancy going for Andre Onana. Currently at Inter Milan, of course, made the move in real life. I transferred him before we start doing this video. And it's going to cost us about 58 million, which is okay. I can feel a big signing. I can feel a big signing coming on right now. Just got Onana wrapped up. Jude Bellingham, I mean, 22 at Juventus, 87 rated. It makes sense to bring this guy in with the money we've got available. Cost us around about 150 million, but that's okay. We've got loads to spend. So I think straight away, and it's going to go straight in here, 120 million. Might be able to get a deal done with that amount, but of course, I don't mind paying 150. Still, if I pay 120, we've got 300 million left over. 
163. You know what? Let's just accept and get him in. Let's go two new players then into the team. So Anana already in. Let's get Drew Bellingham in the side now as well. So one rating off Jorginho, but Jorginho, as we know, probably drop in overall this season. And there we go. This other team looks. Jorginho, if anything, I'll probably put him on the bench over Kovacic. And if he drops that low, then I'll put Kovacic back on the bench. But here we go. Season 5. Let's see how we do. And what a way then to test your new team taking on Man City in the Community Shield. Of course, Drew Bellingham in the side. Oh, Nana. 2-1 win. Broja coming off the bench, by the way. 53 minutes in, grabbing a goal, and we get the win. And okay, this season in the Premier League, only a second place finish, 76 points behind Manchester United. But okay, then in the FA Cup, a tuna win against Stoke City in the final Carabao Cup, we won that as well. Okay, finally, we're actually winning these two competitions. In the Super Cup then, in to get a 1-0 win. Champions League, did we win? We did as well, 3-1 win. Guys, this season, four trophies, Community Shield, FA Cup, Carabao Cup, and the Champions League. Okay, then one team we did not expect to see in the Europa League, Liverpool with a 4-1 win. Conference League goes to Valencia. I've got to say then, guys, what a season we have just had. I mean, look at the games played. Oh, not a 65 games played. Top scorer is Timo Werner again. This guy, honestly, I feel so stupid now in season one saying, let's go out and sign someone. This guy's smashing it every season. Mount with 29, Sterling with 27. Oh, still really good numbers. Top assister, Mount with 18, Sterling with 14. Here we go then, the start of season six. And once again, guys, I'm struggling to pick a position where we need to improve anything. It looks like the bench might need improving, but you look at the bench, Havertz 90 rated. Havertz, I put him on the bench for now, just because at striker, he wasn't getting played, I think, because he's a cam. So I just let the assistant manager just rotate wherever he needs to. Jorginho, 84. That's maybe the weakest link in the team. Apart from that, we're perfect. I'm not going to lie then. It would seem a shame to waste 383 million in the transfer budget. So I might go out and sign someone to replace Jorginho. And now, funny enough then, this player that we're going to go ahead and bring in, it's going to replace Jorginho on the bench. But I also think he can be a replacement for Kante when he does retire. Because Kante... He's going to retire surely at some point soon. He must be 34 years old right now. So, Bubakar Camera, 56 million. I think we just go straight in. 65. Just get this guy bought. He's currently at Roma. Again, he's going to come on the bench in Jorginho's place. But I think he will replace um, Kante in the first team. So, 65. They want Gallagher. Okay, so they want almost 100 mil for this guy. I'm going to go back in with 80 million. Surely we can get a deal done here with Roma. 80 million. 92, you know what, let's go ahead and accept. And I think then guys, that is our transfer business done. I've also noticed Kovacic left the club on a free. So right now I've got to head put Hudson Odoi on the bench. He can fill a gap for us. Camera's on there again. I think in the future he'll replace Kante, Conor Gallagher. Well, will he replace Bellingham? I don't know. Now our first game of this new season, taking on Man United in the Community Shield. We've got Camera coming in. Kante is injured and there you go. 2-1 win, another trophy for us. And our next trophy to play for then, Liverpool in the Super Cup. Of course, they won Europa League last season 4-1 and... 3-1 win, another trophy, Bellingham getting the first goal. And let's say it right then, we are dominating the Premier League in this video. Another Premier League trophy, 84 points. In the FA Cup then, a massive upset. Middlesbrough a 4-3 win over Man City. Carabao Cup, did we win? We didn't even make the final. And so three trophies so far this season. Can we make it four with a Champions League? Okay, we can't. Man United, 5-4 win over PSG in the final. PSG still can't win. We got knocked out to Real Madrid. And Europa League winners then, Real Sociedad with a 2-0 win. Conference League, that goes to Fiorentina. And of course, then before we finish off the season, top scorer, Timo Werner, 28. Not as many goals this season. Sterling with 28, but we got more players with double figures. Bellingham coming in with 19 goals, 16 assists, top assister, Chilwell with 14. The start of season seven. I think it's safe to say Kante has fell off a little bit now, and you probably would expect that at 36 years old, 82 rated now. So, when Camaro comes into the first team, we'll sign someone else for the bench. Apart from that, again... The, the team just keeps on ticking over. I mean, seriously, ticking over. T Sterling, 32. He might start to decline now, but we do have options on the bench. And one player then I think would fit our bench quite well, Bruno Gomerez. I mean, bringing him in. Which club is he at right now? 29, a little bit on the older side. He's at Crystal Palace. But I mean, 29 years old, 85 rated. Perfect for the bench. Yeah, and I wasn't too sure then whether to go ahead with this transfer. But again, 29, even if it just gives us two or three seasons for 50 million, right now winning four trophies a season, it's definitely worth it. So let's bring him in. I mean, 85 rated on the bench. Perfect. Let's go straight in here. 50 million. Not going to mess around. Submit the offer. Palace might go ahead and accept 50. Okay, no, no. We need that player. Okay, let's go back in now with 65. Let's see what they say to 65 million. 
Here we go, and the accept. And I also did see then Camavinga at Leicester City, 89 rated. I did try and go ahead and sign him, but as you can see, the team won't sell him. So maybe next season, we can bring them in. But as of right now, then, this is our team is going to look can take down to the reserves. It's Joe Giorginio, 80 rated, guys. It was 89 like two seasons ago. But there we go. The bench looking good once again. Let's him another season. And as we know, Middlesbrough winning the FA Cup last season, beating Man City in the final. So we're facing them right now. We should get a win. And we do get a win. Sterling Hattrick. Sterling Hattrick in the final. And look at that then, guys. It comes down to goal difference in the Premier League. Level on points with Liverpool. But could we see then an FA Cup or a Carabao Cup win this season? FA Cup. Brighton with the win over Blackburn Rovers. Okay. Carabao Cup. There we go. 2-1. We need to start winning these trophies more often. And in the Champions League, then we didn't make the final. Milan with 4 3 win over Arsenal. Where did we get knocked out? Okay, PSG beat us round of 16. Europa League winners is going to be Tottenham Hotspur this season. Conference League, Liverpool. Liverpool dropping to the Conference League. But of course, then let's find out our top scorer this season. Sterling, 28, gone down by two overalls. Okay, starting to decline. I think maybe one more season out of him. And that might be our lot. Okay, Timo Werner, 26. Mount, 24. Pulisic, 10. Not really seen him on the list this uh, this video. Mount with 13 assists. And here we are then at the start of season 8 against Sterling. I think we'll give him one more season at least. And he's gone down by another overall. But I think one more season should do the job. Then, do we go ahead and put Pulisic at left wing? I mean, he is 29 now, so he probably won't grow. Or do we look at other options? I think we'll have a look next season. But right now, the team, again, is, uh, we don't need to sign anyone. I'm just looking at Brighton's team then, guys. Not a bad side at all. But here we go. First game of the season. Can we win our first trophy? 3-0 win. 3-0 win again. Okay, then, unfortunately, this season, we do miss out on the Premier League trophy, guys. I mean, we have won it loads of times. Still two more seasons to win it, though. And in the FA Cup, then, we didn't manage to make the final. But Carabao Cup, can we win it back-to-back? -back? Okay, again, didn't make the final. And the Super Cup this season, 1-0 win. It goes to Spurs Champions League. We won it. Okay. For a second, I don't know why. I honestly thought we didn't win that. So two trophies this season. Not the worst, but definitely not the best. And the Europa League then won the win for Leon in the final. Gets them the trophy. Conference League, Fiontina. So let's find out then how many goals a declining Raheem Sterling gets. And he gets 26. Level with Timo Werner. I mean, Timo Werner is declining as well. How old is he? 33 now. But Sterling, I mean... That's not a bad record. That's not a bad return. Uh, top assist goes to Mason Mount. And here we are in season nine. So two more seasons left in this video. I don't know how many trophies are on right now. I've completely lost track. But looking at the team, in terms of signings, I mean, the defense, I mean, they're all 90 rated. Midfield, Camara and Bellingham. We've got Gallagher, uh, Bruno Gomez on the bench. That's fine. Front three, it's Sterling. It's, he's the only player I'm looking at replacing, maybe. And to be honest, the only player I could see replacing Raheem Sterling is Kylian Mbappe. So surely he is the only player that could possibly be replace him 95 rated do i bring him in i mean we can definitely afford it and in fact then guys whilst we got the money camavinga is now up for well not up for sale but we can buy him from leicester city 96 million i'm gonna go straight in here we're 100 mil see what leicester say to that because if i can get him into the first team alongside jude bellingham that's insane absolutely insane 100 mil gets the job done and there we go then guys camavinga comes straight into the first team 89 rated he is only 26 years old so i still think we can develop him to be 90 plus rated the midfield again is absolutely unreal imagine a midfield of them too camavinga for his defensive work bellingham for going forward sterling i think if anything he's been here since season one i feel like giving him just one more season then we have to replace him we will and let's take on then europa league winners leon in the super cup right now another trophy surely 4-1 4-1 timo Werner missing a penalty but then goes on to score a hat-trick. Guys, we've only gone and won the Premier League once again. 84 points. This is the most amount of times I've won the Premier League in one of these videos. But in the FA Cup then, did we manage to win this as well? We didn't even make the final Carabao Cup. Did we manage to win this? We did. On penalties, a win against Man City. And now for the Champions League then. Did we win this back-to-back? -back? Okay, the final still not even been played. Liverpool versus Milan. Uh, versus Inter Milan, sorry. Chelsea, where did we... We didn't even make out a group. Okay, so Europa League then. An all-English Europa League final. Spurs winning on penalties against... Brighton Conference League goes to Marseille. And for the second to last time, then let's find out our top score in season nine, Broja. Broja, okay. Okay, I like the idea of this. 29 goals this season. I'm guessing Timo Werner, 89. So Broja's coming, the same rating now. Mount with 17, Sterling with 17. Still a Premier League win. Mount, though, with 20 assists this season. I think the highest throughout the whole video. And here we go, then. Season 10 right now. Our final season, of course. Let's make sure we make it count and win as many trophies this season as we can. So, striker-wise, Broja comes straight into the first team. Timo Werner declining. 34 years old. Sterling... Again, part of me feels a little bit sad to replace him because he's been here since day one, but so have other players. But at the same time, Sterling, 87, we can do better. A part of me does want to go ahead and sign Mbappe, but at the same time, I kind of don't... I don't know, something doesn't make me want to make the sign. And Yozabal 
He's the same rating as Sterling, 33. I, again, I think we just stick with Sterling. You know what, guys? All this time, I've been looking. We've got Pulisic on the bench, 89 rated. He comes into the first team. There you go, Sterling on the bench. Doesn't have to play every game, but can play when it matters. Yeah, you know what? Let's sim, let's sim again. Final season. Let's see how many trophies we win. Let's hope we can go ahead then and start season 10 with a win. Taking on City right now. Here we go, first game. And we win on penalties. Who scored in the actual game? Delict's getting a goal here. And Pulisic. Delict as well. Okay, 3-3, free, free, and we win on pens. Guys, you never guess. We win the Premier League once again. 89 points, one point ahead of City. I think out of the 10 seasons, we must have won it at least eight times. Let's have seen in how many more trophies we won. FA Cup, we won that as well. Okay, a 3-2, 3-2, sorry. A 4-3 win on penalties against Bournemouth. Carabao Cup, did we... Okay, we didn't make the final. And so Liverpool then did win the Champions League last season, taking on Spurs in the Super Cup. Spurs get a win, Champions League. Roma with the win. Okay, we didn't make the final. Europa League goes to Wren. Conference League goes to Milan. And for one final time, now let's have a see who our top scorer is. I'm guessing Broja is up there this season. Okay, he is up there, but not at the top. Mason Mount, 30 goals. Guys, I think this guy's been so underrated in this video. Played every single season. 95, ni yeah, 95 rated. Top assist at Bellingham with 21. But everyone, guys, going to finish it there for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop me a like down below in the video. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. And I'll catch you in the next one.